Locals and bus drivers blocked part of the Benin Lagos Expressway by Kiadolo Junction to protest the dastardly attack by gunmen. It was a Black Tuesday for residents of a Kiadolo community, especially Market Square, when they woke up to the sounds of gunshots that claimed the lives of some persons, including a 43 year old man and member of the state security network, Jude Akhyombari. When the news crew visited a Kiadolo community, which also serves as a link to 25 other communities, the locals were mournful. Security personnel were on the ground to maintain law and order in the community. Some of the residents and commercial minibus drivers described the dastardly attack by gunmen as disheartening. I was called that uh, they all shot somebody before the market, so we now have to move down there. But even when we got there with the police to the uh, first uh, person that they, were, they killed, then we later had other gunshots just by the market. Then we now run there too, and we met that three other persons has been shot. Everybody just run your part down, say they keep person. I really know the man. I don't. I can't even talk as the thing can happen because the thing called the me. No security for a car the law because of what he happened, so he no good. Our life they threaten. As me they so I know even they say because I'm not sure if he stay this a car the law again. When contacted for comment, the Edo State Police Public Relations Officer SP Chidi Uwambuzo said the command is aware of the incident. He assured of thorough investigation into the case. As we speak, the investigation is ongoing at the care the law divisional police headquarters. We cannot categorically state the number of persons that were wounded and the number of dead. We want to assure the good people of Edo State will remain calm. Uh, Edo State Police Command is on top of the game. Those uh, criminal elements that perpetrated this uh, crime will be fished out and justice will be served. According to information made available to journalists, some persons who sustained injuries are currently receiving treatment in the hospital. Patience, Osaugiwa, ITV News.